And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a skyline illustration in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to use a photo for that. You can find that via description link below. It's the skyline of New York. And we want to make sure that it fits our canvas. So when we size that, hold shift and alt. And we want to have at least the most important buildings included. Under view, I've got only the smart guides and snap to one activated. And now the photo is still selected and I go to my image trace. Use the drop down and then low. Low should be enough for the tracing here. So low fidelity. Afterwards it's still selected. I go to object and expand it. And now I use the direct selection tool to get rid of the parts that I don't need. So just select it and then use the delete key on your keyboard. All right, then select it all and then make the fill color black. For example, if you want to use that, you need to check the details. Sometimes it makes sense to just keep a little bit of these smaller ones as we're going to have a rectangle on top of it anyway. Let me size it down and I use more like a purple color, a dark purple. I've got the drawing mode set to draw behind and now I use a white ellipse. I hold shift and alt and that way I create this circle in the background. So it's behind the city and on top of the canvas. I'll center that. And I press ctrl C to copy it and ctrl B to paste it in the back. And I give that now different fill colors. I repeat the process a couple of times more. When I resize that, I hold shift and alt. So you can see I just use the basic swatches. And I go the further, I go to the outside, I go with the swatches to a red tone. And maybe add one more for a dark red. That should be good. I want to make the other one a little bit bigger. Something like that. So that's a good result. We can go to the next step. We need direct angle tool for that and we still draw behind. And now we cover the whole canvas with it. We go from anchor point to anchor point. Change the fill color to the same color that you've used for the skyline, so in this case the dark purple. And now we'll create another rectangle at around the half so that it covers the skyline. But I want to change the drawing mode, so don't draw behind. Switch it back to normal, that way it's drawn on top. And it looks fine. So the next step is to create kind of like a uh, like a sun or at least an object that should indicate a sun. I'll just use the line segment tool for that and I'll hold shift and all when I drag that. Make sure that it's big enough. It's got the same stroke color as our skyline and I increase the stroke weight. Make sure that it's selected and go to effect and we want to have the start and transform, transform selected. Check preview first, increase the angle like 4, 5, 6 degrees, that should be fine. And then make enough copies so that the entire circle is filled. In this case 44 is the correct number. Now go down in your appearance menu with the opacity. And then go to object and expand the appearance. 
Let me select that all. Now I use the shape editor tool and I hold Alt and get rid of the line segments that exceed the canvas. We don't need that. So we can still move it around. No problem with that. And we can still play around with the opacity and the size. And that's it. This is how you can create this guideline illustration in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.